to welcome everyone who is joining us online. We are streaming at internetvoices.org. We also encourage everyone to join us on Twitter at hashtag Oakland Voices. Get in the conversation. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Josh Hart. I'm director of StopSmartMeters.org. Thank you to the organizers uh, to putting this event together where we can share the truths, share our truths. And I think it's especially important to share our truths when they're inconvenient or unpleasant. And the truth is, is that wireless is hurting us. And like most toxins, it bears a, a special burden on those who are disenfranchised, who are poor, and who are marginalized. Yes, we want broadband, we want connectivity, but not all broadband is created equal. We need wired internet available to all who want it. Now, in 2011, the World Health Organization classified all wireless radiation, that's cell phones, Wi-Fi, cell towers, smart meters, as a class 2B possible cancer-causing agent. The National Institutes of Health found changes in our brain glucose metabolism from holding the cell phone to our head for an hour. These are impacts that our communities are suffering terribly. People are getting brain tumors from their cell phones. The man to my right worked for, as the head of the wireless industry for 12 years. His scientists told him that people were getting brain tumors and he covered it up. And That's this right. He was leading yeah. this government. He bought, a, he bought his position for a million dollars. The CPUC, represented here by Catherine Sandoval, has done nothing to allow people to opt out of smart meters on their very homes, even if they're getting ill. Right. We need to look to our own communities for solutions and refuse to go along. And we need landlines to be kept and enhanced and to be defended. And we need ported, safe, wired access, not wireless. People are getting sick and dying. <laughs> 